Hi, this is Carl from Web Courses Bangkok, and this is Lesson 5 Moving and Resizing. In this screencast, we're going to be looking at how to move layers around the screen, and then we're going to look at how to resize them using the free transform tool, something that you use a lot. Okay, well, let's get started. So, first of all, we need to open up the files. You'll find the files in your Beginners Week Web Design folder, Week 1 files and then the Photoshop basic lessons. The file you're looking for is called lesson 5 resizing and moving.psd. Just double click and it'll open straight away. Now once the file is open you'll see again we've got two sides. We've got the left hand side showing you what we're going to be doing and the right hand side is where you actually do it. One of the first things we want to do is move and the thing we're going to move is the green box layer and if you look on the right hand side here you'll see it's called the rounded rectangle. Now the tool that we need for this is the move tool. The move tool is right at the top of the toolbar, the very first tool. If you want to use the shortcut you can just click V. Now. All I want to do is move this from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now I can move it freehand just by moving it like this, but you can see it's not precisely moving. So edit and step backwards. Now this time I want to move it but in a straight perfect line. So first of all I make sure I have the right layer selected. I hold down shift and then I click and I move and you'll see that it moves exactly in a straight line. If I go down it moves in a straight line as well and I can even go diagonal. So if you ever want to move anything in a single plane then hold down shift. So now we're going to change the yellow box and we want to resize it. To do anything to a layer you must first select it so I'm just going to click on the yellow layer. Now that's the same for anything that you want to do to any layer, you must first select it. Right, to resize this we can do it in a number of different ways. One of those ways is to go to edit and then free transform. And that shows me all these different directions of which I can resize this layer. If I click on the left hand side and drag across I can see that it increases the width to the left hand side. I'm just going to put that back. Now, if I want to make it bigger and keep the ratio the same, I can use one of the corners. So I'm going to hold down and drag like that. To finish what you're doing when you've resized something, you can do one of two things. If you want to use one of the menu items, you just click on the tick at the top corner there. Now let me go back, edit, free transform. The quicker way that I prefer is using the shortcut. The shortcut to finish what you're doing, no matter what you're doing, is command or control for PC users and enter. And that totally finishes what you're doing. Now when you're resizing, sometimes you want to make sure that the ratio stays the same. So the best way to do that is by holding down shift when you're doing the resizing. So let's go back, edit and transform. And again, I've got all the different handles that I can change it. Now, when you want to keep the ratio the same, you must only use the corner sides of the layer that you want to change. So these are the top, right, bottom, and left, right corners. So hold down shift and then drag up. And you can see that it's going exactly to the same ratio. And that's something you should keep in mind when you're resizing photos, because you don't want their ratio to go off Okay, we're now ready to do something else with the transform tool and that's actually rotate it. The other way to do the transform tool is by using the shortcut. Now I highly recommend you get used to this shortcut because you'll use it a lot. So like I said before, you must first select the layer that you want to change. So I'm going to click on the picture layer and then I'm going to use the control and T or command and T for Mac users which is a shortcut for free transform. You can see it here, free transform, control and T. 
Okay, to start rotating, all you have to do is click and hold and move it around. Okay? So you can see it's very easy to move it around. Again, if you want to finish what you're doing, just press Command or Control and Enter. Now a little tip about this is I like to use Shift when I'm rotating things around because it moves in a set angle. So let's go back, edit and step backwards. Again, I'm going to select my layer, press Control and T to apply the free transform tool. So click and hold, holding down Shift and I can move it around and you can see that it's moving around in these set angles which makes it much easier to get it exactly 180 degrees around and then to read the sign. So to finish what I'm doing I'm just gonna hold down control and enter or command and enter if you're using a Mac and then we're all done. So that has been moving and we've looked at how you use the shift key to hold it down and that means that when you move something it moves in the same plane rather than it being a bit random. Same thing goes for resizing. If you want to resize it and keep the uh, aspect ratio perfect, again hold down shift. And then lastly we rotated an image and we saw that holding down shift helped us get it exactly 180 degrees so that we can read the sign. So that's everything for moving and resizing. Next we're going to be looking at zooming and panning so that you can really get into your design and look at things in a lot more detail and get everything pixel perfect. If you want any more information on our courses or our screencasts please go to www.webcoursesbangkok.com Thanks for watching. Bye.